Hey, Crowd Vibers! Welcome to part four of this tutorial series I'm producing called How to Prepare for a Reggae Music Festival. In parts two and three, we covered festival logistics. This included your festival checklist, what to pack, navigating the festival, and a few safety tips. But we know you came for the music. Now it's time to share some tips on making the most of your day. Let's just go ahead and rip the band-aid off now. The festival lineup is going to look great until you see the version with set times on it. If you want to see full sets, plan on seeing about half the bands. This, of course, depends on stage setup and set times. If you want to see a little bit of each band, you'll be moving around a little bit. And this will get harder as the day fills in and you get closer to the headliners. Let's talk about schedule and set times. You've either been studying the schedule front to back or you're more like me and you kind of wing it. Check the set times and make your ideal schedule before the event. We typically will pick a few bands from the top of our list and see how it falls out on the schedule each day. It usually works out for us. Be prepared to make sacrifices and tough choices. For example, when two of your favorite bands are playing at the same time, or that old school Roots Reggae band is lined up against a headliner playing their new music. Sometimes a band on the lineup doesn't make it due to unforeseen circumstances. Watch for changes to the schedule. Use official social, social media outlets from the event for any changes happening in real time. Schedule changes and such are usually announced via email to ticket holders and on social media handles. As you walk in, or before you arrive, take a picture or a screenshot of the daily schedule in case connectivity isn't that great. One of our pro tips, make it your phone background so you can see it at a glance. Keep in mind, bands are playing festival sets and may not play that niche song that you fell in love with 20 years ago. They are playing to a larger audience and trying to get new fans, so they'll most likely play their popular songs. With that said, I've seen bands get really creative with their festival sets. Next, let's talk about moving around the festival. Are you a rail rider, a chill in the back kind of person, or somewhere in between? No matter how or where you enjoy the show from, you might be moving around to see the bands that you want to see. So, do you need to move stages throughout the day? Or are you setting up camp and making nearby friends? These are the tough choices I spoke about earlier. Here's a tip that works really well for us. We oftentimes have friends that want to see another band really bad. And they also want to get a good spot for their set. But we want to finish the set that we're watching. So we horse trade. Let me give you an example. Our friends Mike and Jen wanted to get a good spot for Tropidelic, but we wanted to finish the set we were at. They relocated, got a spot, and saved us some space. Then we returned the favor later on. The last thing I'll mention here is that most people are super nice and friendly at festivals. Of course, you're going to get the occasional intoxicated person or someone who is unknowingly rude, or maybe someone's just a little hangry. But for the most part, people are in a good mood. Be polite, pass on a smile, and share the good vibes. Here comes the X Factor pop up stages. Some festivals have pop-up stages that may or may not be part of the main schedule. Both Cali Roots and Reggae Rise of Florida have stages specifically for Sugar Shack sessions, and I'll say they are very popular and always packed. This is where a band is doing a 15 to 20 minute acoustic set, and it's a really cool experience. We love Sugar Shack, and we love our friends Rising Vibes from our VB Reggae fam. Be sure to check them out. In 2023, we got to see Article Sound System perform their Sugar Shack session live, and then we got to go watch it on the video when it came out. My point is, look for any pop-up stages and take notes of their schedule. Yes, this only complicates planning your day even more. Well, that's it for part four. Next in the series, food, drink, and vendor tips. If you like the crowd vibes, smash the like button, share your favorite videos, and subscribe to get alerts for new stuff. Thanks, y'all. Enjoy the crowd vibes.